Ingo Weigel at Comprito BJJ, joined by UFC heavyweight Mike Russo, who will prepare to face Fabricio Verdum at UFC 147, June 23rd in Brazil. Mike, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Obviously, um, Brazil is a long way away. Have you been to Brazil before? No, I've never been to Brazil. This will be my first time. Uh, pretty excited about going. Um, I think it's going to be a great experience and a you know, big opportunity. And the fact that it's so far away, does that play into your prepara preparation at all? You know, obviously, that it's like a 14-hour flight. I mean, do you go up earlier? Do you, do you, do you prepare for the time zone change? or how, how do you deal with that? Yes, that's the one thing we're doing different this time because uh, usually they like to fly the guys out on that Tuesday and fight Saturday. So we're going to go a week before um, flying out on Friday, you know, have like three or four days, you know, to really feel good and adjust to the climate and, uh, you know, and then have a good week and then fight on Saturday. Sounds good. And obviously, Brazilians are known for their nationalism. They're almost to a fault. You know, they love their country. And the fact that in other sports, the hometown crowd plays such a big factor sometimes. Are you worried about that at all? What do you think it's going to be like um, to go into kind of the lion's den where, where their hometown favorite is facing you? Um, that really, it honestly does not bother me at all. Um, I mean, obviously, I know I'm going to be the bad guy. But, it's, you know, when the, uh, when the horn goes in, in the cage, and I don't, I don't hear any of that anyways. You know, it's kind of... That stuff's irrelevant, you know, really to me. Okay. And obviously this card has been shuffled around quite a bit. You know, we had the main event moved, Anderson Silva versus uh, Chael Sonnen, and now Vitor Belfort injured his hand, which makes you the co-main event. Any added pressure or excitement? Um, obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be the co-main event. Um, yeah, but what a great card it was going to be, you know, with Chael Sonnen and Anderson Silva. I mean, it probably was going to be the most watched UFC ever. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I just got to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, you know Fabrizio Verdum I mean what a tough opponent and a great opportunity so that's what I'm focused on. Very good and you know let's talk a little bit about, about your fight camp have you done anything different obviously a lot of weapons from Fabrizio he's looked really good with his Muay Thai in his last couple of fights and uh, I've, everybody knows his ground game is amazing how do you prepare for a guy like that? You know yeah obviously his uh, stand-up game uh, has gotten a lot better I'm very tough on his feet um, Obviously, he's an awesome world-class, uh, you know, jiu-jitsu uh, practitioner. Um, he's going to be a tough guy, but uh, my whole thing is, uh, you know, really just want to push the pace, uh, get him tired, and, uh, you know, to stick to, the, to our game plan. I haven't really done anything different. I uh, didn't go anywhere for this camp. Just, uh, you know, I got great coaches, uh, Comprito, my boxing coach, Tom Hayes, uh, wrestling coach, uh, Vladimir, and, uh, you know, just really uh, – just really picked it up and just, uh, you know, this has been my toughest camp. A lot of uh, sprint work, conditioning, lifting weights and stuff like that. Cool. And uh, obviously, if this goes to the ground, you're not worried at all, basically. No, I mean, I'm, I'm real comfortable. I've been working with Comprito for like four years now. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. Comprito's seven-time uh, champion. And, uh, you know, he's really helped me. And, uh, you know, and I love jiu-jitsu. I mean, I think it's going to be a great, uh, a great honor to step in there with uh, Fabricio. You know, see, him, see where I'm at. I mean, he's ranked fourth or fifth in the world so I mean what an opportunity yeah definitely and you know I feel like a lot of guys out there don't give you enough credit you know you've you, you've only lost once to Karatanov and I think that was slightly controversial and you've won four times in a row in the UFC I think you have 12 finishes uh, I mean what do you think it's going to take for the, the fans out there to take you seriously is is it a stage like this where you could go in and finish a guy or, or what is yeah, it I mean, I mean this is uh, a beating an opponent like Fabricio is going to be a I mean that's going to put you to that next level. Mm -hmm. I mean, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I think a lot of it is through too. So, you know, since I signed with the UFC in 09, you know, I've had a, you know, a broken arm, elbow, and I was like, I was only averaging like one fight a year. I mean, this is the first time since I signed with them, I'll have two fights in one year. And then, you know, and then plus the physique, it's not the typical physique. Uh, you know, I think people look at that. So, but, uh, you know, I'm excited to get in there and, uh, you know, fight uh, for resale. It seems to work for Roy Nelson. Yeah, right. He's yeah. making a lot of money with that, so. I don't have a personality, so I'm oh, kind of yes. just a boring, so maybe I should do, show it up a little bit more. <laughs> well, the other thing is, too, you, you mentioned before, you don't even train full-time like some of the guys do. You have a full-time job. Are you still doing the police officer deal, or have you had a chance to kind of set that aside for this fight? Or uh, what's the Yeah, um, I mean, I train full-time. I, th I think I just I have no downtime. I mean, I train full-time, and then they have a full-time job, too. Um, so there's just, you know, I'm kind of burning the candle at both ends. Um, you know, but it's the situation I'm in, so I make the best of it, you know. Great. Well, um, is there anyone you'd like to thank before we let you go? Yeah, I would like to thank uh, Praetorian. Uh, they're sponsoring me for this fight with, uh, from head to toe, shorts, T-shirts, and hat. Um, thank you to them.
Great. So check out the, the UFC 147, June 23rd. Mike Russo, Fabricio Verdum, also headlining uh, Rich Franklin versus Vanderlei Silva. And be sure to check out MMEnuts.com for our weekly updates. Take care. Thank you, Mike. Hey, thanks, Greg.